Hey, what is up YouTube? Guys, it is time to open up the full roll of Walking Liberty half dollars. Are you guys ready? Hopefully we'll have a 1921 in here. How awesome would that be? All right, let's go ahead and open her up here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're gonna go through these, show you what the coins are. I'll try and give you like an estimate on mintages. Hopefully we'll have something low mint mark in here or low mintage. All right, let's check out our first one. Our first one, pretty worn on this side. Hopefully it's an older one. 1944, and that is a 44 Philadelphia. So that's a pretty common coin at about 28 million minted. We'll go ahead and set that one aside here. We need some early ones, guys. And hey, this is a 1947 which is actually a good thing. 1947 is a low mint year, that's awesome. So that's a good, this is gonna be a good coin. It, it is pretty worn, I'd like to see it a little nicer shape. Let's see if it's got a mint mark, and it does, guys. That has a Denver mint mark, which is actually the harder to get of the two. Only 3.9 million of those minted, so that's an awesome coin. I'm sure somebody will need that one for their book. That's awesome. I'm going to set that over here in my good pile. That's amazing. That's the second coin in, guys. 1942 is our next one. That is a 42 Philadelphia, which is very common at about 47 million. Our next one here, a little worn. Uh, I'd like to see this one in better shape. It's a 45, which is a really common year and it's a Denver, uh, about 10 million of those minted. So fairly common, uh, not, not the greatest shape. I'd like to see it in better shape. All right, let's see. Next one, 1942. Boy, that's a dark, look at the dark tone into that, 1942. Uh, let's see, hopefully it's the Denver. It is the Philadelphia. The 42 uh, Philly is pretty common at 47 million, almost 48 million. All right, let's see our next one. Next one, 1941, pretty decent. It's got some details on the bra line there. Uh, that is, guys, I think that's an S mint mark right there. I think we have our first uh, San Francisco mint mark, 41S, that's 8 million minted so let's set that in our good pile i'm pretty happy with that guys are you kidding me we got another 1947 again this one's a little worn for for being the last year minted but it's a 47 plain date which is only four million of these minted that's awesome so we've got the 47 and the 47d in this roll that's awesome. Those are both about $9 coins right there. Keep it. Definitely liking it. Uh, 43, look at that. Look at the details on this coin. That's an actually uh, pretty decent coin. The detail looks good. And uh, same on the backside. The 43P uh, though is one of the most common ones at almost 53 million minted, but man, good condition coin. And we have another 43 right there. And this one is a 43 Denver, about 11 million of those. So fairly common, but not like super common. All right. All right, let's have about a 45. So far, nothing in the 30s. Would love to get something old. Uh, this one is, can't quite read it, I think. I think, I think it's a Denver, it could be a San, San Francisco. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, I can't quite see that one. Uh, but that is a 45, let's see, the 45D is 9 million, almost 10 million. And the 45S is about 10 million. So either way, uh, that's gonna be a mintage of 10, about 10 million. Not super common, but fairly common. So we'll set them over there. We got here 1946, 
46. If this is the plain date, this could have a double die. So let's flip it over. And that is a plain date, guys. So we will have to check this for the double die reverse. Um, just looking at it, I don't think it is. It doesn't look like the double die. But I will double check. And if it is, guys, believe me, you will know at the end of the video. So we'll set this one in our good pile for now. Uh, and the mintage on the 45, or I'm sorry, the 46 would be about 12 million. Oh, look at this, guys. We have another 46 right here. Another 46. And this one is also a Philadelphia. So we'll, we'll hold that one aside as well and look for doubling. I didn't see any on there, but you never know. I'll, I'll check it uh, with a loop a little bit closer. Let's see, a 42. This is a 42 Philadelphia. Uh, very common one, 47 million. And what is this? Guys, we got our first one in the 30s. 1935, finally, something in the 30s. Well, now let's get into the 20s. Uh, and that's a 35 Philadelphia, which is only about 9 million. So not too bad. Not too bad of a coin right there. Let's see what else we got. Come on, give us something good. 1941, pretty worn. Let's flip it. And that is a 41 Philadelphia. Uh, about 24 million minted on those. Oh, we're looking at a reverse side here. This is a Philadelphia as well. What do we got here? 42 Philadelphia. Uh, again, very common coin at 47 million. We got four, four left, guys. 1943. Uh, this one's fairly worn. Uh, and I think... I think that might be an S mint mark. Uh, so about 13 million on that one. Not too bad. It's a little worn though. And we got another one in the 30s. 1936 It is worn. Uh, usually when you find older ones, they are going to be fairly worn. Uh, it's a 36 Philadelphia. So you're looking at about 12 million on those. And we have a 45. 1945 and let's see hopefully it's got a mint mark oh it does and i believe that's the denver mint mark uh so about 10 million on that that's a pretty decent coin last one guys here we go last one it is a philly and the 1941 it's got some issues there there's a little bitty it got bumped right there on the edge of the coin a little bit of an issue. Um, not the greatest coin in that role for sure. But we got some good coins here. We got the 246s that we need to look to check and see if they're double dies. We will do that. We also got the 247s, the 1947s, which is pretty awesome. Where's the other one? There it is. Two 1947s, which are actually hard ones to get at only four and three million. And then we also got the 41, and that was, I believe, the S Mint Mark. So that's a really awesome roll. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. Post your comments down below. We'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.